So I don't know if you all remember this or not, but for about two years, this little blush right here from Dior was sold out everywhere. You could not buy it on their website, not at Sephora, not at Nordstrom, nowhere. And it was, this one was sold out and so was their other color. They had two colors, that was it. But everybody wanted this color. It's just called 001 Pink. It's a Dior blush and there's the color right there. Yeah, I think it's pretty. It's a very beautiful blush. The packaging is nothing exceptional. You can see that this is not a very big blush. It's a very small pan of blush. And I thought when I looked at the color right here that it was gonna have a little bit more of a bluish pink, but when you open it up, it's almost like a lavender pink, kind of. So it's a pretty color. Yes, it's a beautiful color. And when I wanted it myself to start reviewing it for you all, it was gone. There was no way to get it. So about six months ago, this finally came back into stock. I had gotten one. I had actually bought one off of a friend of mine that didn't want, her, want it anymore. I think that when she sold it to me, it was like 35 probably. But you know, okay, so I'm expecting to open this up and everybody's seeing and everything go, oh, that was a terrible off note key. But I was expecting this to be a fantastic blush. So perfect, right? But I'll tell you what happened when I opened it up and I'm putting my finger in there, I'm like, okay, pretty color, bright pink, my kind of pink, very cool toned. But as I am putting it on my, my cheeks, look, can you even tell that there's anything there? I couldn't, and it took me forever to build this blush up. This is a blush that is very powdery, it does not have very much pigment. If you're anybody but the most fairest tone, you're going to have to put a lot on. So you're gonna go through this pan pretty darn fast. I feel like the internet and the viral TikTok, all of the stuff that's going on with this blush was wrong. They were wrong. They were so wrong when they blew up the sale of this blush. And I feel like that with so many things. Just to give you an idea, right now, this is a TikTok viral sensation. This is the new Benefit Fan Fest. And everybody is going nuts over this and saying it's the most beautiful mascara ever, just like the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara that they were talking about a while ago. This is a beautiful mascara. It goes on gorgeous, but guess what? In about three hours, you're gonna have a flaky mess on your hands. And by the end of the day, if you have any sort of allergies and you have a tendency to kind of rub your eyes a little bit, I had an allergy attack, it flaked completely off until there was nothing left on my lashes. So, fan fest, gorgeous when it goes on, yes, pretty, don't buy this, it flakes, it's terrible. They need to reformulate it so that it doesn't just come off. I feel like tossing that. But the same thing with this, come on. I mean, I just put three or four coats of this on there. So that's what this whole video is all about. What can we find that's as pretty, if not prettier than this blush and possibly find you an alternative for it, okay? I have found all of these other intensely beautiful blushes that I could not wait to share with you. I wanna just start out by showing you the new blushes from Givenchy. Givenchy has kind of blown up too, and that is because of this right here, which is the powder. I've had this Prism Libre powder. This was one of their special editions or limited editions when it was the holidays, and I've had this probably for I'd probably say I'd, I've had this maybe three years. Yes, I know, but it, there's nothing wrong with it. So I keep my, you know, my powders around for a long time. But my point is, is that this has blown up. Do I feel like this is the best powder in the world? No, I don't, or this would be gone. It does have tiny pinpoint little glitters in it, which is hard for a mature woman, woman to wear. And some people absolutely despise any sort of glitter at all. So here is their new blushers. And it has the same little four pans in there that mix together. This color was the color that I chose because it was looked a lot like the Dior blush. So this, so this color is, I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna murder it for you guys. Mousseline Lil. That it's, it's color number one, I think. And it has the four little pots right there. You do, it has the little puff that comes on it. So here's the little bit better view of it. And then when you put it down into the cap, 
there it is right there it's a loose blush which i haven't seen in a long long time and it's very very light very pale and so this to me is almost a highlighter or almost like a tone on tone type of situation where you would use your blush and then use this on top of it's pretty but do i feel like it's worth i think it was 40 dollars again that i paid for this no i don't and did i tell you that this right here was 40 dollars when i looked it up on sephora.com that's why i'm trying to give you alternatives of what you can find because honestly if i was not somebody that had this as a job and did this for a living to be able to compare it for you guys i would never go out and spend this much on a blush and there are so many other alternatives let's look at tarte tarte has this one that is called this one's called doll face look how pretty that is I just found this one. I've been playing with it a little bit. It is that same pretty color that you get from the Dior one, but so much more pigmented. And I don't know why they couldn't just get it right and put a different packaging on here that was more the color of the blush in the pan. But I love the Amazonian clay blushes. They have a claim of 12 hour wear, and I feel like, yes, they do that. This is a fairly good size pan. If you are looking at it compared to the original Dior, let me just find out what this has 4.5 gram, 4.6 grams. And then the one from Tarte has 5.6 grams. The one from Givenchy that I just showed you, this one says four times 1.12 grams. So this would be 4.48 grams, something like that. <laughs> 4.48 grams. So we still have more in the Tarte than we do in the Dior or the other ones. So let me just show you, I'll, I'll do a comparison of the two of them right up next to each other so you can see. I actually do think that the one from Tarte has a little bit more depth than the one from Dior. I like it a lot better. And once again, we're comparing it to the swatch right here. So we have a lot more vibe, a lot more vibrancy and a lot more staying power on that one. So pretty. There's one more that I want to show you that is a powder. This is from Juvia's Place and this is one of their blush duos. Now take a look at how huge that pan is. It's like insanely huge. This is a really bright, bright pink. It's a hot pink, but this is that same color of that lavender lilac pink. So there's the bright pink, wow. And then next to it is that lavender pink. And I'll hold that up next to the Dior. It really is very close. I would say that the Dior is a little bit more pink. The actual product here in the Juvia's Place one is much softer and much easier to build. It's just really beautiful cool packaging they have a full mirror right here which you can you know see both sides of your face on just really pretty these are really good quality for a powder this one's beautiful go ahead and pick this one up if you are somebody that has been thinking about this one is it comparable to the dior i think it's better it's got a better texture as far as i'm concerned and i love that hot pink one as well i did want to show you this one this is a brand new one that i got from give beauty by gwen stefani this is this is surprising, you guys. This is very pretty. I thought when I got this that it was going to be more along the lines of that pink lavender. Instead, it ends up just being lavender and then this one ends up being a deepened lilac or you know, kind of a deepened purple plum. And they're both very pretty, but they're definitely more along the lines of a purple color and I think they're very gorgeous. If you're somebody that is bold enough to wear something like that or that's your coloring, that's your jam, this is a beautiful formula and definitely I would go out and splurge on this. I think it's worth every dime. It's but so pretty. Patrick Ta came out with this one called She's Giving. I think he came out with four new colors. He has nailed this formula. So this is like a super hot pink color and the reason that i want to bring it into this video is that these are not colors that we normally think of to wear these are colors that we shy away from why do we shy away from them because they're so vibrant but if you're one of my deeper skinned gals wow this is going to look absolutely intensely beautiful on you if you aren't if you're super pale like i am guess what you can still wear it you're just going to have to be very conservative with it so let's just dab into here and I'm not gonna put it on my cheeks. I'm just gonna put it right here. And can you see how pretty that flush is already? This is the powder. You are supposed to do the powder and then you're supposed to do the cream on top of it in order to get that subtle sheen. So let's dip into the cream part. By the way, this is a Sephora brush. 
I think it's a Sephora powder brush. I'm not exactly 100%, but it does give it such a beautiful sheen to it once you put on that cream product. It's very pretty. So you can see right there that kind of a flush that it's going to give you. This is a gorgeous blush. Any of his blushes that are these two different pans, the cream one, and by the way, he does have a cover that goes on that. And then you got the powder in here. These are beautiful blushes, so blendable. And the way that he worked out this formula where you can put the cream on top of the powder, it's just such a beautiful formula. I do want to surprise you with a drugstore find though. It is more along the lines of this kind of bubblegum pink. And this one is called, I think it's called bubble, bubbly from Flower Beauty, and this is a liquid blush. And this one I have had ever since it came out, gosh, years ago. I don't remember. Does anybody remember how many years ago the one from Flower Beauty came out? If you do, let me know. But look at it. It's exactly, it's exactly the same as the one from Dior, but it's in a liquid formula. So you're gonna be able to put it on your cheeks and you're gonna be able to use it, but you're not gonna break the bank. You're gonna have something that works really good for mature skin. I absolutely love these cheek balms. I think blush balms, not cheek balms, blush balms. And I wanted to make sure that it is, yep, it's bubbly. So that you know that it's just, it's gorgeous. Once it's dried down, it will be there, but it doesn't dry down like a powder does. It's just so, so pretty. I absolutely love that blush. Persona yeah. also has one that is really similar, but this one is super saturated compared to the Dior one, even though it doesn't look like it would be much more saturated than in the pan. This one right here, let's see, this is the Dior one right here, and you can see the saturation in the Persona one. This is probably our number one alternative. And this is called Super Blush from Persona. It's called Bubble. This one has been out forever as well. But I would say that between everything that I've showed you today, I would pick up the Persona or the Flower Beauty for the liquid or the Juvia's Place. So just as a demo, I'm going to take the Dior blush and I'm gonna put it on this cheek right here. If you wanna know, this is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Angled Blush Brush. It's a duo fiber, I have two of them. So I'm gonna pick up this one and I'm gonna really kinda of get down in here because yeah, this one picks it up better, but it's very light. So we're going to put this on this side to be able to see what it looks like. If you can see that almost immediately, how that's going to brighten everything. Isn't that amazing how that brightens? Now that's a lot of blush, yes, but this is for demonstration purposes. So here's that brush, just so you know, I'm not cheating and using a different brush. There's the same brush right here. We're gonna use this one for the Juvia's Place and we're gonna use that really light one that we have right here. We might need a little bit more depth, but I think we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go down into there and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my cheek. The nice thing about this brush that I absolutely love is you're not getting so much when you start out that you're gonna feel like you need to rub it off. Okay, so there it is. Ooh, I went in too much, but there it is. So let me just use this brush right here and we will blend this in a little bit better. We we'll use this side and then I'll get just wipe this off real quick. But basically you can see what I'm talking about. Beautiful brightening that lavender hue to it or that kind of blue hue to it is just something that's really, really pretty. I hope that you did enjoy seeing today's video and seeing what we can do with these blushes. I'm a blush junkie. Take my word for it. I love blushes. And so this is fun for me to bring it to you. And yes, darling, the influencers, TikTok and viral got it wrong. I don't believe this is the best blush out there. And I do believe that even before this came out, we could find some gorgeous blushes. So if you know of any blushes that are this color, this hue, let us know down in the comment section so that we can all weigh in and definitely get a little bit of a discussion going about it. Thanks guys for being with me. I love you guys so very much. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you do enjoy seeing this kind of content where I am talking all about makeup and what looks great on the over 40 woman, make sure that you smash that subscribe button for me. That helps me so much. of an 
off the shoulder, gathered at the waist with some ruching elastic, and it has a couple of tiers on it. It just is really easy to wear. I have this in like three or four different prints. It's really nice because it's very easy. You don't have to think about it. And when you wanna just lounge around in it during the daytime, you can. And then the necklace that I have on, you've seen several times from me. It's just a rhinestone heart necklace. There's my readers. There's just a rhinestone heart necklace with a gold chain. This is from the Lifetime Jewelry Company. If anything happens to it, you can get it replaced. And then the earrings that I have on, I think these are a 40 millimeter gold hoop. And then they just have the swirl rhinestone stones around them just kind of dresses up any outfit that you have but they're really fun to wear with jeans too so that's the jewelry i have on and i hope that you enjoyed today's video take care of yourselves love you bunches and come back around please in my next video goodbye my friends <laughs>